I had this vision, right? When I was in my quiet time with God and I want to bring community together through a meal. One of the most intimate things that you can do is share a meal with somebody. And so I had this vision of, of this thing called communion, right? And what it is, is I'm preparing a free meal for my community members. Um, and I'm showing up at a park or a park bench or um, uh, anywhere. And I am asking the communities to come eat with me, come commune with me, let me, let me cook for you. Yeah. Have a seat, have a seat. How you doing? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. okay. This All is right. delicious. <laughs> If you're a meat lover, you would love this. And like you hands out, you know that is yogurt. that is eager. Yeah. And then how does that come? Underneath the avocado. Underneath the avocado. That's the fancy. Fancy, no problem. And I'm doing that with perfect strangers. I don't know if they're going to think I'm crazy. I don't know if they're going to trust me to cook for them. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go. But thank you so, thank you much. so much. It was my honor to cook It was you. a pleasure. This is the third park or location that we've been at today, and I think this is it. So we're gonna we're gonna make this happen. Wonderful. Amazing. The mac and cheese was off the chain. Oh, the cheese tastes like oh cheese. <laughs> and just so you know, what gave birth to this is a few things. So the father of this community experience is one is um, a, a sermon that my pastor gave and he was talking about how communion was this very intimate encounter in the Bible and they were um, reclined on each other and they were very close and they were sharing um, intimate space and so I wanted to create that. You have one wish, what is it? And after you make your one wish, you could grab one person a wish. Who are you going to find that wish to and why? Yeah, why? My wish, first of all, would be um, to become published because I do want to write. I'm starting to anyway. Are you starting a book? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at. That's where you're I'm at the beginning of Okay. And if I could grant one person to wish which would be you i will wish you help good help so oh, thank you so babe. that we could right. <laughs> get back to <laughs> us <laughs> one of the most wonderful things that i can remember is us sitting down as a family and eating together and it brought so much love in that gathering and trust and my parents became um they became they became realistic, like they became relatable because they were sharing their stories and I could relate to them. So they became human. <laughs> this is so delicious. So I'm never gonna be able to eat this again. Cause I'm just passing through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm never gonna be able to have this again. Or maybe you can run into her again before you leave next month. Yes. 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 I'll you definitely come to the follow the Hollywood Market. I'll and definitely do that, there. but. Yeah, see? 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 You can see the one Vegan taco at that I ate at this one restaurant, it's called uh, Julie's Goes Green, and she has just one single table in her restaurant. And she says it's because during the pandemic, we became so distant and only cared about me and mine. And she wanted to bring a sense of community. And if you want to eat at her restaurant, you have to sit across from a, st a stranger and maybe introduce yourself. And so <laughs> I thought that was dope. I thought that was so cool. Hey, my name is Philip Scott, and uh, I just experienced some fantastic food. It was vegan, beans, chili beans, and rice. Fan, and I ate it all and I just got through eating so that's how good it was and I'm not a big eater I'll sign on to it any day it's all good in the hood you guys I am so full right now uh, <laughs> this was better than I could imagine when you when you get a vision or something is tugging on you to do and you just don't know all the answers. It, it can make you delay or procrastinate. And I'm just so glad I was obedient. And 
I got to meet some wonderful people. I got to cook for them and share a meal with them and get to know their story. And it was a beautiful experience. We're so much, we're more alike than we are different. And it just takes you smiling at somebody and introducing yourself. Let's build community, you guys.